Welcome, Dr. Gauri. Uh, we are super excited to have you on the platform Dentawesome. And we are very excited and curious to know about your journey, uh, how you reached the All India Rank 15. So uh, my first question to you is that, uh, when did you start preparing? Okay, first of all, hi, Dr. Anisha. Uh, thank you so much for considering me for this interview. Uh, this is the first time that I'm being interviewed like this. All thanks to you. Uh, I'll start by introducing myself. Uh, my name is Dr. Gauri Vikas Pansilkar. I belong to Mumbai City. I have completed my BDS from Nair Hospital Dental College, Mumbai. And uh, talking about my hobbies, I like to draw. Uh, you can check out some of my arts uh, on Instagram page. I have it by the name Dr. Doodle Six, so you can check that space out. And now talking about, now answering to your question, uh, when did I start preparing? So uh, this was my second attempt at NEET. Uh, my first attempt was during my internship. Uh, I wasn't fully prepared during my internship, and but I got a decent enough rank. Uh, that was 579. Uh, but I, I didn't find it that satisfactory, so I thought I should give it another try. Uh, I should study thoroughly. Uh, so that's when I started uh, my serious preparation for the NEET, uh, that was from June 2022. Uh, I had joined the online classroom of series. So that's when it start, all started. So what is the difference between INICT and NEET exams in terms of the questions that is being asked and how the students should actually prepare and also answer for the same? Uh, okay, so first of all, uh, INICT has 200 questions, uh, whereas our NEET has 240 questions. Uh, second difference is that uh, there is one fourth negative marking in the NEET and there is one third negative marking in the INIC. Uh, the approach to the questions is also a bit different. Like INICT, it will focus uh, more heavily on the clinical subjects like the dental subjects. Uh, so our concepts need to be really strong and uh, it involves critical thinking. Like we have to apply our knowledge with respect to those subjects for INICT. Uh, questions from basic subjects like the medical part, like NIA, the biochem, physio, they are like very hardly asked in INICT. Uh, secondly, NEET has a proper uh, breakage. It has a proper distribution, like 100 questions will be from the medical side and 140 questions will be from the dental side. So we need to give equal importance uh, to both the subjects, medical as well, uh, the clinical as well as the non-clinical subjects uh, for preparing for NEET. Uh, secondly, because the negative marking is much uh, greater in INICT, uh, we really need to uh, decide how many questions to attempt, how many questions to leave uh, based on our surety uh, regarding to those questions. Uh, so that is the second difference. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, the syllabus and all everything is same. Just the uh, uh, distribution of questions differs in these two exams and negative marking. So, ma'am, uh, how many books did you refer while you were preparing for the NEET? Uh, I had just referred to three things. Uh, first, I, I used to start with my series, Classroom Notes uh, of Sir. Uh, whatever Sir has taught, I, I used to first go through all, uh, all that. So, that was my basic foundation. Uh, then, I used to proceed to the basic MCQ book, uh, which almost everyone refers, that is our Dental Pulse. Uh, and after doing that, uh, for certain clinical subjects, uh, I had particularly referred dentists uh, for four subjects, uh, that is ortho, pedo, uh, endocons, and uh, pedio. Yeah, so for these four subjects, I had referred to dentists. Uh, so majorly, I had uh, done most of my preparation from these three things. And then uh, I used to uh, go through all the past papers, all the repeats, everything from the BDS next step uh, from series. So, these four things. That sums up. Uh, okay, ma'am. So, did you give equal importance to the clinical subjects and the non-clinical subjects, ma'am? Um, I gave equal uh, importance to both these uh, because I was preparing for both INICT as well as for the NEET. Uh, so, we really can't distinguish uh, while studying. Like, now I'll prepare for the INICT. Now, I'll prepare for the NEET. Uh, so, I had given uh, the November uh, 2022 INICT. Uh, in that, I had got a rank of 58. Uh, so, I had actually studied uh, both clinical and non-clinical subjects equally. Uh, but yes, I would say that the non-clinical subjects like uh, ANAT, Biochem, or Physio, uh, then uh, DM, 
then phd certain topics like fluoride and all wherever there is numerical values or data basically any volatile topics uh, those things i had read more often uh, compared to the clinical subjects uh, yeah that's it and also uh, pharm- for pharmac i had referred uh, dr uh, gobind rai gurg's book uh, it has so many mnemonics uh, so that made uh, made the subject relatively easier so yeah Okay. So, ma'am, uh, like, how did you push yourself to study the topics that you didn't enjoy? There are like many students uh, face issues when it comes to anatomy, biochem, and uh, pharmacology. So, uh, what about you? How did you push yourself to study these topics? Uh, there is actually really no option uh, than to study these subjects. so the only thing that we can do is possibly take interest in it uh, try to simplify it in our own ways uh, like for anat i didn't start directly with the mcqs that is first uh, uh, basic textbook reading is must for anatomy uh, from bd chaurasia uh, especially the volume 3 that is the head neck face uh, which uh, which is ba- which basically pretty well covers the entire anatomy that is required uh, then Uh, from the volume four, that uh, we need to know about the nerves, the distributions, brain, certain parts, uh, and then we can proceed to the uh, MCQs. So there was really no way to simplify it, but uh, I would say like frequent readings made it a bit easier to retain all those facts, all those uh, uh, su- all the subjects pretty well. Uh, then, as I said, for pharmac, I had referred uh, Gurk, uh, the textbook. So it has so many mnemonics, so uh, that. actually made it a lot way easier to remember pharmac uh, so pharmac was really made smooth with respect to that uh, there's no need to read the entire textbook just the mnemonics uh, they make it pretty well easy um and for uh, other subjects i tried to simplify it in my own way uh, yeah that's it and just frequent reading i'll say uh, of the volatile subjects like it uh, there shouldn't be a much uh, bigger gap uh, between the revisions uh considering they are volatile so we need to keep them reading frequently uh so that the subject is solid in our brain till the main day till the main exam day so that's the only way to tackle it so ma'am how did your schedule look like i mean you mentioned that you started your preparation from july and in the november you have oh, the uh, sorry june and uh, you have given your exam in the of the iict in the november and you got all in your rank 58 which is kind of very inspiring so uh, i'm very curious like uh, how was your schedule looked like uh, what was your uh, like what uh, study smart study tips can you please share okay uh, so uh, i was i i was completely dedicated to uh, Uh, the preparation i had not joined any clinic uh, from june um so i used to pretty well study entire day um i didn't count hours because i used to just uh, make a to do list like uh, for a particular day i have to do certain topics and i used to make sure that before sleeping uh, before the day ends uh, i will be finished with all those topics i was very disciplined with regards to uh, what i decided to study for that particular day and i just um uh, uh, followed it like one day at a time and all those small things just gradually accumulated it uh, the frequent revisions uh, so i eventually got good at uh, those subjects uh, i took my cds test cds very seriously uh, like we used to have our weekly mocks uh, so i used to make sure whatever material i have in front of me uh, from be it from the textbooks from the mcq books from the app i used to uh, uh, divide it uh, for that particular week and i used to make sure that i complete each and everything that i decided for that particular day and i used to take each and every exam very seriously and one exam at a time so uh, that just made it uh, easy so mom roughly how many mcqs you used to solve in a day uh roughly i i really don't have a count but uh i can say maybe I I I really don't have a count. I cannot okay. give a count as such. Sorry. No worries, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, do you have any smart study tips for the students who are preparing for the new yeah. exam? Okay. So, um, uh, first of all, uh, see, we don't have to make uh, large notes. Uh, your notes have to be very simple, very concise, and they have to be as short as possible. 
uh, like don't make humongous notes because at the end there's really no time to post to each and everything. Uh, so it's really uh, better to keep it as small as possible. I would say that any extra point that were, uh, whatever we, uh, whichever extra point we find from anywhere, like be it the app, like in case, in my case, the BDS Next app or uh, extra books like Dentist or certain extra past papers, any numerical data, I used to just jot it down in pulse, uh, wherever blank space I could get. Uh, so that uh, everything is at one single place, uh, the basic MCQ book, which I'm referring. Uh, secondly, I would say that just don't uh, go on highlighting each and every explanation. Uh, just uh, highlight very smartly uh, those keywords, uh, only that, only the parts that is required so that at the end you just see the highlighted parts and then you're done. It saves a lot of time at the end. Uh, and then we, uh, there's really more time and space to uh, see more things uh, in the last two weeks before the exam. So highlight very smartly. Uh, then if there is any extra thing from the, ex uh, there are particular big huge explanations for a particular MCQ. Uh, so we can just uh, jot particular keywords from the explanations beside that MCQ so that uh, when we just brush through or we revise uh, all those topics, then there's no need to turn pages uh, to read explanations again and again. And uh, the uh, third thing I would say is that, like, uh, keep revising. Uh, keep uh, revising all the volatile topics or whichever topic you find is weak. Uh, just give it more time uh, and just love those subjects. Don't read it with uh, uh, a mindset that this is so boring and it won't retain that good. Uh, yeah, and for Pharmac, I would say, like, uh, there are uh, particular MCQs uh, behind every chapter of GURK, uh, Dr. Gobinder and GURK's first textbook. So just do those MCQs well. Uh, I had solved uh, those MCQs first and then I had referred to Pulse. Uh, so that made Pharmac really easy. Um, so I would recommend that book uh, for Pharmac. Okay. That's it. Ma'am, uh, what was your revision strategy and how many times did you revise before you gave your NEET exam? Uh, so, uh, there was no as such revision strategy. As I, as I told you, I used to uh, follow my weekly mock uh, exams or uh, test series very seriously. Uh, so, I will not count how many times I read Pulse or a particular topic prior to that. If I were test uh, on this particular Sunday of all those topics, then make sure that I'll read it again and again and again. Uh, yeah, that's it. I I just made sure that I go weekly, like in small, small boxes that will gradually make everything easy at the end. Yeah. So ma'am, what so advice was... would you give to the student who is inspired by what you have achieved and wants to do the same? And what are the mistakes they should avoid on the day of the exam? Uh, okay, so first I'll say like, uh, just believe and have faith in yourself that you can crack this exam. It's not at all difficult. Uh, you just uh, need a few simple changes, a few simple things to follow. Uh, that is first is uh, be disciplined. Uh, I would say like whenever you're studying, just uh, plan everything for that particular day and just go according to the plan. That makes things very uh, easy and simpler. Uh, so plan it out. Uh, stay disciplined to that plan. Uh, secondly, be very sincere to your own self. Uh, be very honest with your own self. Like, are you really prepared? What are your weak points? Have you done those well? Uh, if you need more revisions, then do it. So be very sincere with yourself. And thirdly, I would say like consistency is the main thing. Uh, that monotonous should schedule and that consistency is what matters. Uh, because uh, there will be days when you won't feel like studying. You, you just don't feel like studying, but those are the days when you don't have to give in to that. Uh, so just persist at it. And uh, rest all shall fall in place. Just follow a good test series, I would say, uh, that teaches you time management skills. Uh, it will uh, give you exposure to ample of MCQs. Uh, uh, you will get an idea of how many questions to attempt, how many questions to leave. Uh, you, like, based on the difficulty, uh, how uh, difficult the paper is, or if it is easy, then attempt uh, the maximum. You just get an idea, uh, a very good idea. It simulates the uh, exam day and it prepares you thoroughly. So I would suggest that follow good test series. Uh, that would give you a proper reality check. Uh, yeah, that's it.
Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of students after listening to this interview would have got an idea that they have to be disciplined no matter what. And they have to be serious about the test series and, you know, revise again and again and follow yeah. the proper schedule and plan the day out and make sure that they complete those topics off. So, uh, I definitely it has also given me a new perspective on my own preparation so thank you so much ma'am uh, for this interview uh, thank you for giving your time thank you so much dr anisha i wish you all the best uh, i wish all the neat aspirants and ic aspirants out there all the best uh, just follow these three things and everything will be like a smooth ride i am sure uh, that's it and all the best and thank you so much uh, for having me on this interview it was a privilege indeed thank